Welcome back to Myth Busting with Marines. My name is Eric Melton. I'm a realtor. I'm with my good friend Brad Stinson, a VA home loan specialist. How you doing? What up, man? Good, good, good. Today we're going to dive into closing costs. There is kind of a lot of confusion around this topic. What actually goes into closing costs with a VA loan? With other loans, there's a bunch of other things that are included, but what actually goes into a VA loan? Well, every every loan program, you have your upfront costs, all right? Even though there's a zero down payment requirement for the VA home loan, there's still upfront costs. What are those upfront costs? Taxes, taxes. the property taxes, <laughs> homeowners insurance, insurance, title, lender fees, yep. all these other fees that are associated. Yep. Typically, there's, there's well, always there's fees upfront that are due, cash due at closing, all right? But with the VA home loan, because there is no down payment requirement, yep. the closing costs for cash due at closing are substantially lower. Mm -hmm. Okay, but where all of this really starts to be beneficial for anybody who's listening to this is that with the VA home loan, we've all been told and all been conditioned that the seller has to pay for the veteran's fees. And that is only half true, but we know it to be 100% true. Yeah. All right. Where this all stems from is what's called the origination charge. What that is, is the VA has dictated that a lender cannot overcharge for the cost of doing business. Mm -hmm. Makes yep. sense. It's yep. only fair, correct? So they cap it at 1%, and there's two ways in which you can charge that origination fee. It's either the flat method or the one-shot, one-kill. That's where these myths come from. But there's another way in which it's called the collective method, which means me as a lender, I can charge a collective amount of all fees up to 1%. Okay. All right. Therefore, the veteran can pay for the pest and termite. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Right. Making your offer look more competitive. Okay. That's the key part right there. You want to make sure you have the most competitive or best offer when you submit it. And if the seller has to pay for all these other fees, that doesn't look too competitive, does it? Right. Yeah. I mean, it's just I mean, common sense. Right. But. That's why it's even more important that you work with a real true advocate team, people that are educated about the VA home loan. Yep. All right. Because on top of this, a realtor who is educated on the VA home loan, like this guy right here, all right, <laughs> can actually negotiate what's called seller concessions. Mm -hmm. Seller concessions are just a thing of value added on top of the transaction. This is where we could actually reach out and ask them to, hey, can you kick in? X amount of dollars for seller concessions, and we can apply this across the board to a whole bunch of fees. Right, right. Sounds like a great benefit. It is a great benefit right. once it's presented correctly and you're working with the right team. And that's why it's so important to have a professional that really understands these things. So it's our job and our duty to make sure that you guys you get to... said duty. <laughs> don't, don't take it out of context. Um, anyway, our job is to make you guys look good and make sure you're using this benefit to the max. And that's why we're here today myth busting this so we can provide all that value to you guys. Do you have any last, last comments you want to add in there? Myth busted. Myth busted. Right. We'll see you soon. Semper and who rocks? Semper